Yes, yesterday's night I saw you banging your head on the wall because you could not understand the complicated MVC model of Django. But don't worry, together we will understand Django, the new web. And there's a reason why I call it the new web. For that, we need to understand about its history. So let's dive on to the time machine and go 17 years in the past, in the year 2003. To be specific, in the month of September of 2003. And this is the Lawrence Journal World, aka the News Center. And we need to get inside it and meet these two people. These are the serious Simon and the admiring Adrian. These two are brilliant people, initiators of Django. And these are the people to thank for because you have Django in the world. But wait a second, wasn't there anyone else? Well, it turns out there was an, an even important person. This guy, Jacob, or at least the elder version of him. And yeah, his full name is Jacob Kaplan Moss. He took Django and made it public and did a lot of work on Django and finally 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 in the year of 2005 to be specific July 2005 the first version of Django was released and if you think that Django 1.0 was the first version of Django then I'm afraid you're wrong because it is actually Django 0.96 this is just a quick side note for you but and this is important because in the official documentation of Django 1.0 it says this What's new in Django 1.0? And it reads like, since Django 0.96, we have made over 4,000 cold commits, fixed more than 2,000 bugs, and edited, added, or removed around 350,000 lines of code. We have also added 40,000 new lines of documentation and greatly improved what was already there. Amazing, isn't it? And that is just from jumping from Django 0.96 to Django 1.0. And since then, we have Django 1.0, Django 2.0, and currently we are at Django 3.0, which we'll be mastering from here on. And yeah, what do you think could be a better time to learn Django? And just so that everybody else does, let me just tell you about few things, or rather few organizations which use Django as their pattern. The Washington Times, Bitbucket, PBS Studio, Mozilla, and of course, all of our favorites, Learning Draw. And now I want it to be you. I mean, your projects will be using Django. But for that, we need to start with a command. And the command is pretty simple. It says pip install Django. So if you're on Windows, have Ctrl R, CMD, and type pip install Django. And just run that command. And you're done. That is it. And Django will install on your device. And you're good to go. See you in the next video where we'll be exploring every realm of Django and understanding what better ways could be there to program in Django and everything to master it. So, see you then. Bye-bye.